Hi Spring Hill friends, it's me Anna. I'm back at my pond again and I'm thinking about the Spring Hill Pond and wondering what's happening there. I thought that we could read a pond book. It's called Over and Under the Pond by Kate Messner with art by Christopher Silas Neal. Oh, this is one of our favorites. Do you remember what that's called when it wraps all the way around the book? Can you see how it's one giant picture? It's called a wrap around cover. This one even wraps around. This is actually a book from, we have this book at Spring Hill, but I checked out the copy from my library from Jocelyn. So I can't take it off, but you can see it starts here. It goes all the way. Over and under the pond. For Matt and Ben from Kate Messner. For Jasper and River from Christopher Silas Neal. Over the pond we slide, splashing through lily pads, sweeping through reeds. The water's a mirror, reflecting the sky, sunshine and clouds then a shadow below. What's down there, I ask? Under the pond, Mom says. <gasps> Under the pond is a whole hidden world of minnows and crayfish, turtles and bullfrogs. We're paddling over them now. Somebody looks familiar on this page. Does that kind of look like Myrtle? Can you see the bottom of the boat that they're paddling? It's kind of a funny perspective. It looks like we're in the water and we're looking up at the boat. Over the pond, we skim past tall rushes. Whirligig beetles loop and twirl, skaters on a warm summer surface. Under the pond, minnows dart through waving forests of grass while a brook trout lurks, ready to lunge. Over the pond, we lift and dip and pull past a row of painted turtles on a waterlogged tree. One, two, three, they slip off and away. Splash, gurgle, sploosh under the pond. Do you remember if Myrtle is a painted turtle. She has another name. She's a red-eared slider turtle. And she likes to slide into the pond. But these ones are painted turtles like BJ's turtle named Weedy. Over the pond, cattails rustle and shush in the wind. Listen close, cutlery. Red-winged blackbirds race by. One has grass for her nest. Under the pond, a caddisfly larva builds a home of her own, a secret shelter of pebbles and sand. Here it is. Can you see her teeny tiny little body poking out her head? We sometimes find those in Spring Hill Pond. Over the pond, the shadows of trees lean out from the shore. We coast under a low-hanging branch. A moose looks up with a mouthful of water lilies. We've interrupted his lunch. <gasps> under the pond, beavers dive deep. They pump with powerful tails and rise to the surface with delectable roots from the mud. Over the pond, the wind gives us a push and stirs the light dappled leaves on shore. There on a branch, a new goldfinch teeters, finally ready to fly. She's so tiny, just a little baby. A fledgling goldfinch. 
under the pond. Tadpoles are changing, learning to hop. They're losing tails, growing legs, growing up. Over the pond, there at the shore, tall and silent and still, a great blue heron stares down into the deep. It tenses, takes one long-legged step, and strikes. It catches a wiggling quicksilver minnow from where it was hiding under the pond. Over the pond we drift, heads tipped up to the sun. A woodpecker clings to a teetering pine, digging for ants. Mm, looks like it might be a pileated woodpecker. Do you ever hear those? Can you see it? Under the pond, an otter claws for freshwater mussels. Over the pond, a sleepy dragonfly lands for a rest. His spindly legs tickle my knee. Under the pond, dragonfly larvae watch what swims by. They catch minnows in monster fast jaws. Dragonfly larvae, that's pretty special. They kind of look creepy, don't they? Over the pond, the shadows stretch. Ospreys circle on quiet wings. Raccoons and minks stalk the shoreline for supper. For supper. Under the pond, with a flip of a tail, a crayfish disappears in the dark. Over the pond, we head for home. We glide, swish, bump, right up onto shore as a far off loon calls good night. The sky turns from sunset to dusk to dark. Night settles over the pond. The prowling catfish and drowsy turtles, the scuttling crayfish and tadpoles turned frogs, wading herons and stalking raccoons. And the hidden world under the pond. Hmm. There's some more information here in the back of the book about all of the critters that they talked about that live at the pond. So right before we left Spring Hill School, a friend asked me on the very last day that we were there, they said, can we go to the pond and see what's in there? And I said, yeah, let's do it the next day that we're at school. And we haven't been back to school. So I was thinking if you have a pond or a stream at your house, now is a good time to do some, what we call ponding at Spring Hill. And you don't need too much. You can probably do it with materials that you already have at your house. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in my pond. It's a little bit chilly right now for me. For, uh, for finding lots of good stuff, but hopefully if you use the things that I use on a warmer day, you'll be able to find some creatures in the pond.